guys and welcome to Im Kids Online. Are you guys happy today? Let's sing together. We will sing, sing, sing and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout. Have you ever had something that really made you happy? Think about your favorite toy perhaps. Well, you know, as all zebras do, I had a favorite toy too. It was black and white, just like me. I remember it had the cutest little face. It, wore, it went everywhere with me. Oh, I remember. It was that cute little cat figurine, wasn't it? Whatever happened to it, it made you so happy. I've had something like that. Something that gives me happiness and comfort and just a really good feeling. What happened to your, to your little toy? Oh, it broke in two and it broke my heart. I don't think I've ever been so sad before and I can't even get a new one. There was only one little Timmy cat. Why did it have to break? Dear Zerbs, I, I, I can see you're really upset. I'm so sorry your toy broke. Maybe you've heard people say that nothing in life lasts forever. Toys can break and get lost. Things can never last and so they can never make you happy forever. Well, that sounds really sad. So we can't be happy forever. No, no, no. That's not the end of it, Klaus. Oh, what if there is something that can make you really happy forever? Would you like to find out what or, or really more like who it is? Listen to this story of Jesus at the wedding party. If you listen closely, you can find out where to find real happiness that never breaks or finishes. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. Woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied. My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone jar water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water, so they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. 
but you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum with his mother and brothers and his disciples. They, there they stayed for a few days. Good morning, boys and girls. Isn't it amazing what we just heard in the Bible? This is the story of the first miracle that Jesus did. He made something impossible that couldn't be done possible. He did it. Don't you find it interesting that this is the first miracle that Jesus does? He turns water into wine at a wedding. It seems less important than healing sick people or making blind people see. Don't you agree? So, what can we learn about who Jesus is when we meet him as a winemaker in this chapter? Perhaps Jesus starts his work on earth with this miracle to help us realize that living life with him is wonderful. So often we only think about the difficult things and all the things that we feel we need to give up to follow Jesus. Serving Jesus is also an amazing adventure that invites you to see and feel the most amazing miracles ever. Following Jesus is not dreary or boring or always difficult. It is the only way to find true, lasting happiness. Jesus is alive. And if you believe in Him, you get to go on an amazing faith adventure. The one that the groom was serving at the wedding was finished. There was nothing left for his guests to drink. The wine is almost like the things we have in life that cannot last forever. Like Zip's toy. It doesn't last. The wine that Jesus made was the best wine ever and it was more than enough. This miracle shows us that everything that Jesus gives us is amazing. He gives us gifts that can make us really deeply happy. Jesus cares about your happiness. The joy that you get from Him will never break, finish or leave you feeling disappointed. When we meet Jesus as a winemaker, we are reminded of the God who loves us so much that we are given the opportunity to enjoy a relationship with Him and that we can enjoy life, nature, friendship, good food, sweeties and so many other things with Him. We are reminded that He provides not only in our needs, but that He blesses us with so many gifts that we may simply enjoy. Think about your life. What are some of those gifts that you are blessed with? Maybe it's your parents or your friends or music or beautiful garden. It is of course also Jesus' love and grace. All of these are gifts from God. We are invited to find our happiness, our deep joy in Him, and everything is so wonderfully created. Here's the invitation. Let Jesus give you true happiness. It is better to hold on to Jesus than on earthly things. Come and see how He makes the impossible possible, not only by turning water into wine, but also by doing wonderful things in your life. Experience his warm, friendly, inviting company with you. Come and find true happiness in him. Hi guys, let's pray together. Lord, thank you that we can get to know you more and more. You are wonderful. Thank you that we may enjoy life with you. Thanks for all the gifts you give us. Please open our eyes to see your love and grace. Amen. Bye, guys!